Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Here's my breakdown of Game 2 of the Western Conference Finals between the Suns and the Clippers. If Game 1 was the Devin Booker game, this game was definitely the Cameron Payne and the Andre Aiden show. The two of them combined for 53 of the Suns' 104 points scored. Let's take a look at the defensive adjustments by the Clippers. So they started Zubax for his physicality against Aiton as well as his ability to protect the paint. Beverly also got the call to start to play physical defense on Devin Booker. On offense, the Suns continued to push the pace in transition to get easy points and also mixed in some Spain pick and roll. Okay, let's see. So Spain pick and roll is where a third player is involved in the action by setting a back screen on the Roman's defender to get him op open over the top, which you can see what Booker is doing right here. Okay, here we see Booker set a good, strong, hard screen for Aiton as he rolls to the rim and he's able to get open over the top, right? We will see this play a factor at the end of the game. All right. So Cameron Payne continued his inspiring play, deputizing for CP and attack the pain with a variety of finishes. So let's take a look at a few here, right? So here he gets the ball in transition. He pushes it and he gets all the way to the basket, right? Using a sneaky inside hand finish as he uses the rim as protection to finish on the other side all right so here we see him get into the pain and he's playing under so much control he stops and he uses a variety of pivots to get his shot off so just in case you're not aware here's cameron payne's journey so far in his career he's played with a couple of teams He's bounced around, he's played in the G League, right? He's even played in China to get to this point, performing at a high level in the Western Conference Finals. All right, so hats off to him. So next, let's take a look at Devin Booker's struggles in this game. All right. Okay. So we see here that Patrick Beverly is guarding him, right? But Beverly is a quick and pesky defender and he was able to stay attached to Booker to make him work hard to catch the ball and also bother him on a lot of his shots. Okay, let's see here. So we see here Payne kicks the ball out. He gets a screen from Aiden. He gets inside. He snakes the pick. Right here, Beverly is able to stay very close to him, right? And it causes him to change his mind and he passes the ball off. All right. Okay, which leads to a rebound. Okay, here we see it again off the pick and roll. All right. He's able to stay close and he borders his shot to the point where he misses, right? Now here's another one. One on one. Booker tries to drive. Beverly stays close and he gets a hand on the ball, right? Gets a block shot here. So the Clippers gave him a couple of different looks. So Beverly, Terrence Mann, even Rondo took turns to guard him. Of course, it didn't help that he had to receive stitches after getting a headbutt from Beverly. And he was also in foul trouble early in the game, which disrupted his rhythm. Right. Maybe the Suns will try and get Booker to, close, to post up closer to the hoop in Game 3 if Beverly is constantly guarding him. Now despite all of that, Booker still finished with 20 points and he was 7-for-7 seven seven from the foul line in the 4th quarter right, and made a clutch bucket when the Suns were down by 1 with 27 seconds to go. Okay, Let's take a look at the final play, right? Okay, right here we see what happens. There's only 0.9 seconds on the clock. All right, they set a screen on Zubax, and Aiton gets a great alley oop off a great pass from Crowder. 
Okay, let's roll it back a little bit. Okay, so a couple of things here, right? Remember I mentioned about Booker being a willing screener and a pretty good screener at that? Right here, he sets a great screen on Zubax. Right? Now, remember the dude had a busted nose, right? He, he could very well be broken and he still was able to set a hard screen on Zubax. Probably the biggest guy on the court. So kudos to Devin Booker. Right, defensively wise, maybe Zubax was a little bit too close to Aiden at the start. Right, let's move back a little bit to where the play began. So right here, so Aiden is going to set a screen for Cam Johnson to flash to the top, right? But right here, I think Zubax was a little bit too close to him, right? Maybe Zubax could have been, could have had one foot in the paint, all right? So here he's too close, right? And Batum did not switch on this play because obviously he was afraid of Booker getting open and him getting the ball, right? And another thing is Cousins, he was guarding the inbounder, right? Maybe he could have done a better job to try and disrupt the pass instead of just... He was just really just standing there, right? He... If you are trying to disrupt the guy to, who's passing the ball inbounds, maybe you want to think about waving your arms and maybe jumping up and down a little bit, right? Here we see he's not really doing anything, right? I mean, he tries to wave his arms a little bit, but it's not enough to take away the line of sight to the front of the rim. All right. So there you have it my breakdown so leave me a comment down below all right on what you think is going to be happening in game three do you think the clippers can come back from 0-2 down again in these playoffs all right like subscribe for future breakdowns and thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one